Okay. Well, I feel pretty confident after my little test that everything is going to work okay. Now I did prove the electric motor runs. The pump obviously pumps fluid. The valve works. Um, I did do some testing. The solenoid does not work. It clicks, but it doesn't make connection from one pole to the other. Uh, that is why when I did the original test, the copper lug that was on here, I just grounded to the body and then just touched the hot to the copper lug to get it working because I, I had already determined that the solenoid was no good. So the uh, grounding mechanism here when you, this is where the handle will go. I just have that in there because it it, uh, it didn't have a handle on it and that has something in the thread so it don't get junk in it from painting it. But um, basically this wire here goes to that terminal there on the solenoid. And just like if you were starting a car, when you hit your switch, it, uh, or however, whatever, it, you know, basically tells the solenoid to go ahead and activate. So, I did a continuity test on this, and this little pole here grounds in contact with that little spring. I think I explained that in one of the other videos. When you pull that lever back, it actuates the valve for flow. This makes contact grounds out and then it makes contact inside the solenoid to run the pump the motor and everything you know runs and runs the pump and then you get your fluid and then when you let off of it the pump stops and it's in a hold position and then when you pull the lever uh, forward it just basically opens the valve and everything gravity's back through the line and back into the tank so what I ended up doing is took a piece of sandpaper and uh, got that guy all cleaned up really good and took the wire and uh, took it off up here and I sanded the, the little screw up real good. I sanded the uh, upper end of that spring, has a loop in it where it fastens to the body. I sanded that real good and uh, actually put a little dielectric grease on it and checked it and everything's working great. So it had continuity and uh, we got these terminals cleaned up and the little copper lug here, I got it cleaned up. So I had everything taped up um, and then the little dielectric grease that I had on there uh, should any, any residue should just wipe off when I go ahead to put it together. So I feel pretty confident that um, everything's going to work out that I went ahead and got a hole drilled into the plate and had it dry fit um, onto the tractor. And it goes right here on this boss. And if you can see that boss, there's like a lip there. So what I did, here's the mounting holes right here where the bolts will go down through to that boss. And then basically what I did was I just put two little nuts, one on each side there. And basically what they do is they take up the space. That's kind of where they rubbed on them stickers there. But that just will keep the uh, pump, when it sits on there, it has a tendency just sitting there static. It just kind of wants to fall. So I'm hoping that with that bolted tight there and then two little nuts kind of holding up on the back side it might cut down on some vibration and i um, hoping that it will avoid any cracking in this plate here um, if I run into something like that it's not a big deal I can put a thicker plate on the bottom and uh, weld it to it and redrill the holes would be fine
um, this unit comes off of this bracket here relatively easy. Slip holes there, just loosen those two bolts. And then there's two bolts down there and uh, she comes off. So the only other thing would be when it's hooked up on a tractor, whether the pump makes enough pressure to lift the load. We know it works, we know it pumps fluid, everything's working, but we just don't know how good the pressure will be on the pump. I feel pretty confident that everything else is tested out positive that that will also be just fine too. So there we go, got her painted. I'll uh, get her mounted on there. We're on hold on the alternator right now. So it's just one of the things trying to keep things moving. Worked on the Ford over the weekend. Got it going pretty good. Carburetor's all squared away. And uh, got that squared away. So we'll keep moving forward with that on as much stuff that's uh, cost effective as possible while I'm waiting on parts or finances or whatever we got going on. Just keep projects moving. It's a fun thing with having a lot of different projects. Always got something that you can stay moving on. This is the oil that came out of it. Look at all that garbage in there. All that mess was inside that little tank there. I guess just, uh, I really don't know. It sat on a shelf for a long time. So, but that's what we got cleaned out in that first part of the video. There she is.